today from the Duwamish River. I'm here with Gringo Pescador. We're fishing in his luxury boat, and we are doing urban fishing, aren't we? Urban fishing at your finest. You've got South Park on one side, you've got Boeing Field on the other side, you've got floors, you've got jets flying overhead. we got fish jumping everywhere. Yep. So. And uh, super cleanups back that away, right? Super, yeah, the super fun site is all across here. So they're getting that all cleaned up. So we're going to be uh, trolling plugs right now. A little later we'll probably do some boondogging, maybe anchor up with eggs, throw some uh, thin blade spinner, uh, spoons, spinners, whatever we need to do to get some fish in the water in the boat. So I'm pumped up. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a fun day. All right. Fish. Yep. Fish on the planer board! <laughs> hey Robbie, I want you to reel your line in. Okay. Now, just I'm doing the board. video right now. Okay. Video. Oh, your video, okay. Now, Mark, the yeah. planer board has... you got to undo the, the line for it. It did? No way. Yeah, he's off. Mark, this is a bridge I'm not familiar with that we're coming up to. This is called the Boeing Access Bridge. So this is all, it's all Boeing property, people going to and from the site. And uh, the parking, parking lot is on the other side. These uh, pilings over here, you'll hear people talk about the pilings and they'll anchor up and do cast stick nights around these pilings. Um, this whole inlet here is kind of a flat and when the tide goes out it's just a big mud flat but you'll see guys like these guys are trolling around here or they'll anchor up and toss lures out in here so the fish come up here in mass and they'll kind of group up in this area before going into the funnel well they're jumping everywhere so yeah. they are definitely in just need to bite, need to get them to bite Hey guys. Coming to you from the Duwamish. Robbie's yeah. got a fish. Okay. Thanks for the up. setup, Mike. Bring him up. Oh, nice. nice. That's how you do it. Woo! Good job. That's a magic egg. Yeah, there you go. Those are kokanee eggs from Merwin Lake Kokanee. Fish, fish over here! Here we are getting a double. I just landed my fish, now Mike's got a fish. So I've got mine on a planer board. <laughs> Watch out, he's still on the line, Mark. So one thing with the planer board, we're going to have to have someone grab the planer board and unhook it. This is where team works. Yep. Just pop that off. There, there you we go. go. Oh, he's off. Oh, no, really? Nah. Ah. We'll try again. Try again. So what we're coming up to is called the power lines. and. When you come up to the power lines, the river takes a hard left, and the fish will school up into there as they get around the corner, and you get a lot of people that'll anchor up there, toss dick nights, toss lures uh, for the fish. There's a lot of, there's a bank access, it's quite a ways to walk, but there's bank access on the one side. And then you go around and the river starts narrowing out, and uh, you can hit the Boeing Bridge. So we'll look at that next. Here we are, Mike got another fish. Oh yeah. Urban
Hawaiian fishery. Look at that beautiful cromer. I'm using a planer board to get my uh, plug away from the boat. Just something different to try. It works good. A little bit of a hassle with uh, got to unhook the planer board to finish playing the fish. But uh, we had a lull and now we got another fish. Earlier, we had high tide and we were running droppers on our plugs, and now we've took those off. Shallower water, eh? Right. Yeah, we were running. We were running droppers because the high tide. We were, we were running in 20, 25 feet of water. Well, with water, the tide's going out. It's going out pretty good. We're averaging 17 feet now, and it'll drop down to 15, 14 when the tide is all the way out. Um, we've got a drastic tide shift today. So yeah, we just took the droppers off, just running plugs, little wiggle warts and flat fish just straight off the main line with a, with a swivel to a, uh, <laughs> to a leader. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm running mine 40 feet back from my planer. You're back how I'm, far? I'm about 50 feet. 50 feet. So these fish, they're going to be hitting suspended. You don't have to be hugging the bottom for them. We saw them jumping all day today, but uh, you can catch them anywhere up and down that water column. Right. So we're up here up river quite a ways. The tide's pretty far out. We're running in about four feet of water all the way up here. Right ahead of us is the 112th, 112th Street overpass. It's a part of the Green River Trail system uh, for bicycles and walkers. And there's a lot of guys will fish on that, uh, underneath that area over there. There's a park over there now. Um, I see one guy from here fishing from the bank. Um, I've seen boats go up there, but I'm not going up there right now, especially on the low tide. There's, it's pretty shallow in there. Um, and it's pretty much banky territory, so I don't want to invade it. <laughs> Got a fish on. We're fishing bobber and eggs now. Just down from that 112th Street bridge. Cooperative fish. There goes the hook. <laughs> Fall to Wamish Coho. Come and get him. There's a long line hookup. Got him at the tail end of the drift, huh? Yeah. The nice thing about having that braid is there's no stretch. Yep. So if there's nobody around, no obstructions, you can still see your float. Let her go. Yeah, well, we got the river to ourselves here. Yeah. So you want to be on the downstream side.
brief as possible. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, get him. No. All right, get in the net. I haven't caught a fish this <laughs> one, damn it. That's that cracker this fish. There we go. Nice. Mark's first of the day. What? That's a tad bigger than the other ones. Best looking fish though. Yeah, that is it. Those are sea lice. Yeah. This fish is fresh. Oh, these are these have nice. all been nice chrome. Nice chrome fish, yeah. Okay. Nice job, Mark. That's what we came for. Yep. What a great urban fishery, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Better than some, worse than others. Got four, we lost several besides. It's fitting that we're finishing the video under the First Avenue Bridge because this is one big urban fishery, isn't it? Yeah, we're surrounded by concrete and shipping containers, so you can't get much more urban than that. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, thanks for showing us the fishery. Yeah, not a problem. Hope you guys get a chance to experience it before the netting starts. We'll see you on the water and online. Super fun site. Just go drink the water. Mark, thanks for showing us the fishery and taking us out. No we'll see you guys online.